I weren't so pissed, I, might, I think I might cry. You are so tall. <laughs> Really nice. Yeah, what cheap. Rusty long lens. And just pick out. There's just that glow in the back. Sorry I didn't film too much of the shoot earlier um, with the town and ah, oh, because, well, obvious reasons. Um, ah. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Um, look at my face. So yeah, Matt, Ed and uh, Paul are all down there. I'm assuming uh, shooting wildflowers as a foreground and the big girl in the background. Uh, so what I've decided to do is shoot with a long lens because of the light is really good at the moment. Um, yeah, it's just fleeting in and out and the clouds are rolling over the top of this sort of mountain ridge and there's like a uh, like a, um, a snowy face and the lights sort of fleeting across and because you've got that cloud cover along the top it's sort of making it quite moody and subtle um, the light the light's very harsh now so you've got to pay you have to pick your moment but when it's good it is nice and subtle um, I'm not particularly thrilled about the composition it's more about the light and the drama that I think I can bring out in an image like this um, and it's the beauty of the 100 to 400 I think I'm right out at a 400 mil uh, yeah it's just it's just a nice a nice image 
Uh, you do have to worry about camera shake. Um, I don't know whether you can tell on the image on the on the video, but it's very windy down in this little valley, uh, and I get a lot of camera shake. So I'm on the cat. I'm on the tripod. Obviously, I've turned off stabilisation because I don't want that to sort of interfere. And I'm because of the, the way the light is, it's quite bright. I'm, I'm one over one, twelve hundred and fifty. The ISO 50 f16 so I'm getting a real fast shutter speed which is helping me uh, with that wind and that camera shake but what's unusual about this is the heat that obviously the air temperature must be completely up in the air over there because it's so hazy and ripply you can see the heat waves so this image is although it is sharp it's gonna look fuzzy um, because you can see the ripples of heat on the snow surface of the snow and all over them rocks uh, yes, yeah, so I don't really know how this is going to turn out, but I think it's worth. I think it's worth a shot. Anyway, I'm going to go and finish up here, go and meet up with the guys, and uh, see what they found. But yeah, what a stunning location! Just just look at it. It's just all around you. It's just epic. Away, it's guaranteed to come out then. Oh yeah. So hopefully you can see what we're trying to do. We're trying to, we're waiting for the old girl to poke her head through the clouds. But she's not playing ball, is she? She's not playing ball just yet. Um, yeah. It's quite a struggle with this blue sky, isn't it? very harsh yeah so it's a it's a long lens and trying to pick small details out kind of like what I did a minute ago with the previous image um, yeah and that wind's a bit of a problem but it, there are lulls like now it is sort of lulled a little bit so we are getting some breaks in the in the wind we just need a break in that cloud so that we can uh, <laughs> it's having a kip just need a break in that cloud so we can see we can see her in all her glory. The light that's coming down this valley is just absolutely stunning. Um, and you've got like depth where you've got sort of shadow on the left, shadow on the left here, the light obviously coming through this valley, and then uh, you can see the light, the layer, the dark layer in behind. Ah. Oh. It's just absolutely stunning, and obviously you can see, you can see her at the top there. It's just beautiful. Ah, oh, this is what it is all about. Unbelievable scenes, uh, literally unbelievable. I was a little bit panicky earlier. I thought maybe that um, I thought maybe that I wasn't going to get the shot, but, but yeah, here we are getting the shot. Oh, oh. I'm at, um, sorry, I'm just distracted by the scenery, but one over 500, F16 to make sure that everything nice and sharp, on the, all the layers, all the, all the depth in this image to be sharp. Oh, it's just stunning. ISO 50, I'm shooting a stop under, um, I'm not, maybe I might even, no we're okay, I'm checking my histogram, my histogram's to the left, because then that snow is catching the light and obviously I don't want them bright white highlights, so I'm underexposing this by quite a bit, just to make sure that I get a, this is, oh, words cannot explain. In the, wor 
in the words of Nigel Danson, it literally doesn't get any better than this. This is unbelievable. Uh, yeah, just stunning, absolutely stunning. So I feel like I can relax now because I feel like I've got the shot and now I can go in nice and tight. And what I've been doing is shooting more intimate, little, little, trying to pick out little bits, little patterns because the snow forms like these like zebra, zebra stripes. And if you can catch it with the, the cloud above and then the, the darker layer of the actual peak itself in behind, they're turning out, they're turning out quite nice. So. I'm just set up next to Paul now and we're just sort of shooting away. But I must say them them uh Fuji <laughs> them Fuji files are just Wow, they're pretty decent mate. They're pretty decent. Yeah, I love them. They are nice, yeah. So yeah, that is what we're doing. Um it's not really a lot to say really, it's just it's just a nice place to stand and watch the weather, isn't it mate? Um yeah, it's just unbelievable, really. The way that cloud's surfing around that mountain now. Yeah. It is, isn't it? It's just uh, amazing. It is still a bit gusty, um, but it's it's manageable, and it does have some like, really weird, sort of like eerie lulls where there's literally not a breath of wind. Um, so yeah, that cloud's going to keep moving in and out, moving in and out, and I think we've we've pretty much got free rain to do what we want uh, as much time as we want as well so happy days happy days this is what we come to Italy for mate eh? Yeah, I so. well Matt's, Matt's the chauffeur isn't he yeah. so we're screwed we can't go anywhere <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah, that's it. we're stuck here so we're gonna have a walk down there see if we can get a bit closer to the old girl and uh well, you never know, you might find. Well, get any closer, we'll be on top of it at this rate. Right? <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>
Mastral. Ah, okay. e, sono abbastanza rigidi pure se ti trova qualcuno <ride> sai come sono i pulsesi eh. se vuoi entrare in una parte di campo imperatore eh, lo puoi fare da Castel del Monte 